Hi, my name is Ryan Takamiya, and this is a preview of my workshop, Storytelling for Success, where you will learn how to harness the power of storytelling to your advantage in both work and life. In this segment, I'm going to walk you through some exercises that will help strengthen the connection between body and mind. This will help prepare you not only to tell stories, but also to receive them. The first exercise will be a grounding exercise, which will help us calm the mind so that we can better listen to the body. So start out by sitting in a comfortable chair with your feet firmly planted on the floor. Take your hands, place them on the tops of your thighs. And then I invite you to close your eyes and you're gonna take a few deep, refreshing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Do as many as you need. When you're ready, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna rub them on the outside of our thighs in a circular motion. Nice and slow and nice and soft. Don't go too fast. Now this is good for people who may not like meditation because they can't sit still. It's a nice, nice easy, fluid motion that you can focus on and can help calm you. It's also good because this is kind of the way you might soothe a friend. But in this case, that friend is you. You can do this for as long as you need. Take a minute, a couple minutes, and whenever you're ready, we're gonna take our hands and move them up to our arms. We're gonna do the same thing on our arms. Going up and down on the outside of our arms in this self-soothing motion. Again, take as long as you need. And when you feel like you've calmed yourself down enough, you can bring your hands up to your shoulders and give yourself a nice hug. Now that we've calmed the mind and we're listening more to our bodies, what I'd like to do now is evoke an emotion and then see where in the body that emotion manifests itself. So try this with me. Close your eyes, and I want you to think of something that annoys you, something that gets on your nerves, a pet peeve. It could be anything. It could be mosquitoes. It could be a younger sibling. It could be a, a yapping dog, something that really gets your goat. Think of it, picture it in your mind. Picture it, and as you're picturing it, start to take note of where in your physical body, that feeling of annoyance or tension is starting to show up. It might be in your face, it might be in your chest, you might feel it going down your arms, it might be tensing up your jaw. Whatever you're feeling, it's going to, it's going to show up somewhere in your body. Okay, now let's let go of that. Too much annoyance is not a good thing. So, let's close our eyes again. This time, let's think of something that brings you joy, something that makes you smile. Maybe it's a sunrise, or you and your partner dancing, or perhaps it's just another yappy dog, but this time it's cute. <laughs> think of something that makes you smile, and again, see where in the body that feeling manifests itself. For me, I think about dancing. I think about dancing with people that I love. And when I think about that feeling, I start to feel a warm, tingly feeling going down my chest, into my shoulders, and down my arms, because it actually makes me want to dance. I can feel the physical manifestation of that emotion in my body. You see, storytelling evokes emotion, and emotion is felt in the body very strongly. The exercise we just did demonstrates that when you feel emotion as a storyteller, the listener also feels emotion as well. There's an emotional mirroring that happens between storyteller and listener. These exercises are impactful, but they're much more impactful when done in person, in my in-person workshop, Storytelling for Success. In the next segment, I'll talk about how stories can connect people and keep those connections strong.